morning from the homestead. Things are getting out of control around here. And I'm not just talking about the gopher piles all over the property. What about all these freaking gopher mounds? Y'all know I love my animals, but the gophers are taking over. Our yard, the neighbor's yard. What do you do about these pocket gophers? I think they're pocket gophers. Or the weeds growing 10 feet tall out there because spring came earlier than we're used to. But Scott's spending habits, we need to talk about that. I guarantee you he's out there right now, this morning, on his iPad, on Facebook Marketplace, fixing to buy something. What are you doing out here? Well, looks like we got an answer from that guy on Facebook Marketplace. What are we going to get? I found a John Deere X320. It's got about 533 hours on it, but it does have a Kawasaki engine and this baby's gonna do the trick you know how he loves his toys they're not toys they're tools i don't i don't buy these things because it's a lot of fun for me he does have a little fun remember this all right are you ready for this well wait and there's more wait till we get on those rad bikes This thing means business, right? Well, the weeds are out of control out there and we've got two acres of them and they're about yay high. And I don't know if you expect me to get out there with a sickle and swing it back and forth like a golf club because I think that's above my pay grade. Did you win the lottery and not tell me about it? Was it expensive? Well, ex <laughs> And there you have your answer. Ay ay ay. This property is getting to be costing more and more by the minute. All right, got to get the cobwebs off this trailer that your parents gave us. This thing's going to be great. So now we're going to have something to pull it with. Are you telling me that we're buying a lawnmower just so you have something to pull this with? No, this is going to allow me to do a little work to save some money. <laughs> some of these lawnmowers, they have big vacuum systems on it, you know, and that's what we need to get the stinging nettle up. But you didn't get one with a vacuum system on it. Right. So my plan is, rather than having the vacuum, is you're going to get in the trailer and you're going to ride behind the tractor. I didn't agree to this. And we need to buy a nice fan rake today so you can lean out over the edge of this thing and rake up as we go, okay? You know that really good penned in? We already have it all fenced in back there area. That would be perfect for um, one of those cute little miniature Highland cows. If you get a lawnmower, shouldn't I get a cow? We, the neighbors have cows right across the fence and we can take all the visual enjoyment we want from watching them. They even got babies out there. But they don't have the mini ones, the furry cute. No, there's mini ones, there's new babies. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? The little cute mini furry mini cows to go with our little mini Italian greyhound? That, that, that's not conducive with the adventurous traveling lifestyle. I know, I mean, that's, you know the that. that's the only reason I'm not gonna go get one because we're gonna go travel, but one of these days. Can we stop and get um, some bird seed too? Trailer check. Okay, Home Depot is so busy. The traffic everywhere. People are here to swim and see the manatees. Escape winter, I guess. Wanna go look at palm trees? It's like a combination torch and bug zapper. We need some more pretty flower bushes out front. Now I'm getting to be as bad as you. I want to buy more things. Spring fever is a thing, guys. Spring fever. All right, I guess we should 
to stick to mowing the actual lawn before we start making it pretty. Ooh, look at these. Since I'm getting a gas can and a rake, you can get one bromeliad to put outside the kitchen window. So when you're doing the dishes, you can look out and see it. How about two, since I also cook most of the time. Oh, and they're attractive like you, and they're low maintenance. It'd be nice to have something in the house that's low maintenance. You're asking for it, mister. So now I need a hose with a pole on it so I can water these because the tree's very far up. I found it, it's telescoping. 27 bucks, look, five bucks, three dollars, three bucks. All right, we're getting distracted. We need to go find um, bird seed. I mean, if I can't have a cow, I get at least feed the birds. You know you could build that for me if you wanted instead of buying it, but I'm just trying to save you money. But if you insist. I lost you. Hey babe, you get a pick. When, when I'm pulling you around in the trailer, which rake is going to work better? That's not happening. Oh, 14 bucks. Who's spending less at Home Depot? All I've got to say is... One more, one more. We can reenact famous paintings. All right, what did we come in the store for? Oh, you need a gas can, need a gas can. for your new lawnmower. I mean, you could have got one of these push mowers instead. That's the world's smallest gas can. I think this thing has a TV on it. Yeah, it's awful expensive. I think if this were a competition, which it is, I would be winning. Winning what? Do you want to tell them how much your lawnmower is going to cost? No. Okay, we got a rake, check. Two bromeliads for Tammy, check. The thing is, is, I don't know why you keep saying it's my lawnmower. I mean, do I say it's your vacuum cleaner? Yes. It's your dishwasher? Yes. All right, our lawnmower. We're going to go get our lawnmower now. This is the biggest hill that this thing's ever gonna go on for the rest of its life. So this old boy is gonna have a good life from here on out. Lawnmower check. And it's got a cup holder for my spindrift so I can stay hydrated while I mow. It will be nice. All my teasing and giving them a hard time. It's just, you know, mostly for your guys' benefit. All right, babe, get to mowing. I am ready. Let's go do this. Now, what is everything? <laughs> first things first, how do you actually drive it? Scott says it's not fun, but trust me, he's in this happy place. I probably won't see him again until uh, it's dark. You're still in bed? I was in here writing poetry. <laughs> you were writing poetry? I don't know how to write poetry, no. but I just came up with, maybe it's called slam poetry. I don't, I don't know. Do you want to hear it? Yeah. It's called Bluebirds and Butterflies. Wait a second. Gracie's not paying attention. Hey, Gracie. Gracie, pay attention. Gracie, pay attention. This is a rough draft. I just like literally just wrote this down. So let me, let me try out some slam poetry. <laughs> I wasn't sure, but then the greens turned bright and began to glow with what I assume they mean by spring green. It's a very different kind of green, the kind that softly and gently and oh so slowly begins to show in every pasture, under every hoof, until it all just pops. The green transforms from hopeful and subtle to vibrant and showy, and then the music turns on. 
the bird's call shifts, melodies once lonely and only occasional bursts into music so playful and happy, then one becomes two and two becomes ten and the songs become color, reds and tufted blue wings flitting and hopping and soaring, and the wind becomes the conductor for all of the intense bursting of life, lifting it up, swirling color and sound, and then, quietly, she dances past my window. Bold yellows and sharp black lines, much softer than the rest, whispering in that last note, the note that brings the entire composition of the song and the sound together, and I know spring has come. It doesn't rhyme, it's just what was my thoughts. And I, and I was like, oh, it's kind of like, maybe like slam poetry? Anyway, happy spring. <laughs>